Welcome to uh, how you can use Google Hangout Live to present webinars, to present videos, to basically do what you could with instantpresenter.com or go to webinar.com without paying $100 or more every single month for this service. So it's super easy once you get the hang of it after I've uh, had a couple webinars that haven't gone very well, I've realized what works and what doesn't. So the first thing that you want to do in preparation to to prepare for your Google Hangout, which I love because it automatically records it. Something that we struggled with when we were using GoToWebinar is the conversion. It was just fine on my Mac, but not everybody has a Mac. And we were having a lot of troubles converting the video to a, to be able to upload it to YouTube and some of it was just going berserko. So the great thing about Google Hangout Live is it automatically saves it to your YouTube and uploads it. And you can actually, when you um, give the link for people to go and watch the live webinar, that link is the very same link for them to watch the recording. So it's not that you have to upload it and then give them a separate link to the recording. They can always go to that same live link to see it, especially works with Facebook event pages when people may have missed the live event, but they go back to the event page, all they do is click on that link and they can see the recording right away. It's really easy and makes it simple for everybody. So the first thing you wanna do is go to uh, plus.google.com backslash hangouts. This is where you will go when you are ready to uh, schedule your webinar or perhaps present it live. So I'm gonna click on start a hangout on air here. It's gonna give me the option to do it now or do it later. So let's just say we're going to do a war on debt webinar. You can type in that this is a webinar about paying off your debts in three into five to seven years or less including your mortgage. So this would be where you can include all details regarding what your event is about. You can include testimonials and stories and things like that. Um, but the major part I want to show you here is how to schedule it. So I'm going to click later because I'm going to schedule it for, let's say, Tuesday night at 8 p.m. And it's going to last an hour. It doesn't really matter what you type in here. Um, I haven't really messed with this a whole lot yet. Of course, you can add your circles and your family and your friends. And if you use Google Plus a lot, you'll know what to do there. But I just say share. So what it's going to do now, it's just going to take me to my event page. So this is basically what's going to show up when they when you go to present your webinar on Tuesday night. So I'm going to click here to links. This is gonna give me the YouTube link that I'm gonna share in my Facebook event page because this is the link that everybody's gonna click on when they go to, or when they are ready to go to watch the video. So I'm gonna copy that, I'm gonna save that link because I'm gonna put that into my Facebook event page. That's the live link that people are gonna click on. So when I'm ready to present on Tuesday, I'm gonna go back to Google. I'm gonna go back to the event or the hangout page. And I'm gonna go over here to my home and I need to go to my events because this is a scheduled event. So I'm gonna go over here to my events and it looks like I've got two webinars that are going to be presented. So I'm gonna click on Warren that webinar that I'm ready to present it. So I'm gonna click start right here. What would also be wise is for you to uh, keep this event page handy because this is the event page that you're gonna go to to present. So you can just basically avoid going back to Google Hangouts and going to the event. If you just copy this link and save that for your records, all you'll need to do on the day you present is go to that link. So I'm gonna start it and it is going to start recording when So it's going to start recording here when this little thing is to 100%. Don't mind me. 
And I'm going to show you how you can also use your PowerPoints then to screen share. So when you start the broadcast, this is where it's going to start recording. So that little sound is your welcome. So welcoming everybody to the War on Debt webinar. Now I don't want you to pay attention to the viewers down here because sometimes that has um, hung me up in the past and it's caused me to entirely stop the broadcast. When you stop this broadcast right here, you're going to have to create an entirely new Google Hangout link. And I would hate for you to have to do that because that's what I had to do um, last week when I was presenting and it was kind of a hassle to give everybody that link last minute. So whatever you do, um, just start presenting and don't pay attention to the viewers um, over here or what that really means. People can use the chat link and uh, you'll see comments. They'll actually be able to comment on the YouTube link um, as you're presenting. So this is how you can screen share your PowerPoint. So I'm gonna screen share here. And I'm going to have my Warren Debt webinar pulled up here. Now, it's important that you do this first step or you do this little step on your PowerPoint before you are presenting it or else people are not going to be able to see all of your slides. They're just going to see it like this. Trust me from experience. So go to Slideshow. Go to Setup Show. Go to make sure that this is... Um, clicked right here, browse by an individual window. So then what it's gonna do is it's going to click, it's gonna make your slideshow not take up your whole, your whole screen, but it's just gonna be a window right here. So that's exactly what we're looking for. When we go to screen share, see I'm gonna find it right here. I'm gonna find this window. And this is what you are going to see now as I begin to present my webinar. So you can see that I, as I'm clicking through this, that you are seeing it and it's flowing very nicely and it is doing exactly what it is supposed to do. So this is the really simple way that you can present your PowerPoint using Google Hangout Live. Now let's say I'm all finished with my webinar. I'm gonna click escape right here. It's gonna show me back on video and now I'm all finished. You know, God bless and good night. So I'm gonna stop the broadcast. And it tells me that it's been successfully terminated. And so I'm just going to use my uh, little doohickey here. I'm going to hang up the call. And now you're going to be able to click right here. And you're going to be able to replay this video on the spot to the Warren Deck webinar. Now, I don't want you to pay attention to the viewers down See? here because sometimes... Perfect. So now this link right here, this YouTube, that's the link that's going to take you to your video. Now that it's all finished, it's going to hop or it's going to come up on your YouTube page and that's all you need to do. So it's very, very simple. It's very, very easy once you get the hang of it. So I'm really excited to be able to share this with you and uh, I hope you have fun with it and I hope it flows for you with ease. Remember, if you have any questions, just Google it. That's how I've found out a majority of, of what I've found out by hosting these webinars is just by Googling how to use Google Hangout Live. So enjoy.